Okay, let's be honest. When was the last time you bathed? I mean, cleaned your keyboard. Yeah, maybe it's time for both. Oh. Hi, big mates. I'm Dominique, and today we'll learn how to clean our keyboard and keep it fresh, dust free, and, well, non sticky. Ugh, guys, whose keyboard is this? Okay, so to clean this mess, this is what we're gonna need some cleaning products, either a window cleaner, isopropyl alcohol, cleaning vinegar, dish soap, or even water will do the trick. A cloth? A kitchen towel is ideal, but paper towels will work just fine. Avoid microfiber cloths because they might leave some bits behind. Something to remove the dust, like compressed air, a brush, or the crap remover included in our enhancement kit. Some tools to disassemble the keyboard, basically a keycap and switch remover, and a Phillips screwdriver too. And some Digma balls. Oh, I mean bowls for your keycaps and switches. All right, let's get to it. But first, a few considerations. Much like gremlins, keyboards can't get wet. Why? Well, because the electronic components could rust or malfunction. <clears throat> this leads me to the next consideration. Always unplug the keyboard to clean it. No power means less risk if something goes wrong. Never pour or spray cleaning products directly onto the keyboard. Use the cloth as the middleman. Also, like with the gremlins, don't feed your keyboards. You know what I mean. Please don't eat over them. But if you absolutely need to, just do this. A few moments later. Mm. Okay, let's get cleaning. Start by removing the keycaps. To clean them, you have two options. You can clean all the surfaces with a cloth dampened with the cleaning product of your choice. Yes, that means the sides too. Quick tip, if after cleaning each keycap, you place it on the table in the same way they are laid out on the keyboard, it'll be easier to assemble back. You can also soak them in warm soapy water for about 30 minutes. Scrub them a bit with your hands, rinse them, and dry them with a dry cloth. Place them on the table until they're completely dry. So while the keycaps dry, it's time to clean the body. Ideally, you would use compressed air at this point, but since you might not be so prepared, here's another method. Flip the keyboard and gently tap the back. Remove any dust left on the keyboard with the help of the crap remover, a brush, or a dry cloth. If your keyboard has lovely palm pads, just like mine, gently wipe them with a damp cloth. The Digma Race keyboard has detachable palm pads, which makes it easier. Watch this other video if you want to give them a thorough clean. At this point, you can call it a day and start reassembling the keycaps. But we believe your keyboard deserves a good spa treatment every once in a while right? To do so, you'll need to continue disassembling the keyboard. First, remove the switches and the stabilizers. You can put the switches in one of the Digma bowls. Remember, if your keyboard isn't a hot swappable keyboard like the Digma Race, it's best that you don't pull out your mechanical switches. Now let's continue with the bottom case. You can put the screws in the smaller Digma bowl. Be very careful when lifting the bottom part. Disconnect the cable that connects the PCBs before completely removing the panel. So now you can take the big PCBs out. Clean the top and bottom panel with a damp cloth and just let them dry. Everything should be dry in about 15 minutes, more or less. It's okay, I have time. I'm charging by the hour. Finally, you can put your keyboard back together. No 
one expects you to clean your keyboard every week, but please do it every now and then. If not, the day you decide to change your switches, you might find life growing in your keyboard. Oh, hi Flubber. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell icon too so you can be notified for more tips, news on our latest keyboard, the Digma Defy, and some more surprises we have in store. See you in the next video. Until then, let us know in the comments below when was the last time you cleaned your keyboard. Don't worry, I won't judge. Actually, I will.